Yo, what's going on guys? This is GameNote321, and welcome to my follow-up video to the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 trailer breakdown video that I did about two weeks ago, I believe. Uh, this video is actually going to go over basically all the stuff that I kind of left out in that first video, and I've been getting a lot of comments lately of people correcting me on things that have been wrong or saying how Bonnie is a girl or something like that. I'm just here to fix up some information, uh, just clear up some stuff. I don't normally do videos like these, but just because I've been getting so many views on that breakdown video and so many comments on Facebook, on my YouTube account, in the comments down below, I'm doing this video. I normally do Call of Duty funny videos, but just because I've been getting so many comments about this. I'm just going to do a whole video about everything. So, yeah, guys. I hope this actually answers all your questions. Please give the video a thumbs up. It will really help a lot. Subscribe if you'd like in my content. And, um, I don't know. Peace out. Let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, guys. So, the first thing we're going to go over is the actual description of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I'm actually getting this description from this website. I'm not sure what the website is called to be exact, but I will put the link in the description below. So yeah, this is what the description says. Welcome back to the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the old and aging animatronics are joined by a new cast of characters. They are kid-friendly, updated with the latest in facial recognition technology, tied into local criminal databases, and, pro and promised to put on a safe and entertaining show for kids and grown-ups all alike. What could go wrong? As the new security guard working nights, your job is to monitor cameras and make sure nothing goes wrong after hours. The, the previous guard has complained about the characters trying to get into the office. He has since been moved to day shift. So to make your job easier, you've been provided with your very own empty Freddy Fazbear head, which should fool the animatronic characters into leaving you alone if they should accidentally enter your office. As always, Freddy Fazbear's entertainment is not responsible for death or dismemberment. Hmm, that is weird. So yeah, guys, that is that that is the actual description for Five Nights at Freddy's 2 from this website. There is also some more text at the top of the description saying Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is the announced sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's. Nothing is known as of yet except that it is in development that it will be released on December 25th, 2014. It will feature more and different animatronics than the original five. Um, don't believe this actual date is true. I mean, it could be possible that the game will be released on December 25th because some people are saying it's coming in 2015. It could come in 2015. It could come out on December 25th of 2014. So who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. I'm not sure about a demo or anything, but there isn't any type of information leading towards a demo. So yeah, guys, that is the description of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Now let me go ahead and get to the important stuff. I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys some images, some pictures, give you guys some of my theories, go over all the characters. I'm going to go over Bonnie, the new Bonnie, the old Bonnie, Foxy, the new Foxy, everything, pretty much everything that I kind of think I missed in the first breakdown video that I did. If I didn't miss anything else, just comment down below. If you had anything you want to add on to this video, go ahead and comment it down below. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next subject. All right, guys, so this is actually the first image we're going to look at right here. This actual image right here, I went over in the breakdown video, but I didn't exactly go over every single picture. I only went over like a couple of them, but you already see these pictures and they look really ugly. I don't like them. I don't think I would draw anything like this if I was a kid or anything like that. But one image that I didn't really look at, there's actually two in here actually. Over here on the left, you see this picture right here, this drawing, and this thing right here that you're looking at, this black thing with the white mask and it looks like it's a puppet or something like that because you can see some strings and you see like the four sticks controlling it and he's giving like a kid a birthday present or something like that. But what I don't understand is that what what is that exactly because one that's not an animatronic looking type thing that's not a foxy that's not a it's not a doggy it's not a bunny it's not it's not a, a turtle or something like that it looks like a freaking i don't know what it is guys but i, I have no idea what it is dude like it's super super weird like let me know what you guys think it is in there i've been actually looking up some research and stuff like that i've been getting some weird names of people calling it marionetta marinata i don't know exactly what these names mean or how to pronounce them or anything like that but i think it's a uh, marionetta or something like that um there's actually this image right here part of the trailer you can see this guy he's on night 4 12 a.m but if you look on the left side you see this thing i'm not exactly sure what it is but it kind of 
looks like it's almost half of the body of that weird looking slender type thing you know black body and the head looks like it's hollowed out with like the black eyes it looks like it's showing half of his body it could be that thing i'm not sure i mean it might be because he's on night four and it is 12 a.m and that's and night four is when things get serious because it's five nights at freddy's so who knows uh we'll just have to wait and see until the full game is out let me know what you guys think it's in it is in the comments also people have been wondering wait where's the golden freddy are they going to replace the golden freddy with this weird looking thing possibly not because there is is this one image right here if you look on the right side right here you see this freddy fazbear golden freddy fazbear and it looks hollowed out like the golden freddy would be and he's frowning and you know how the golden freddy is he looks really creepy he looks really ugly and ill and he this looks like to be a golden freddy like gold and brown are very close together i'm really not sure if that is a, a drawing of the golden freddy but it looks like it could be golden freddy because that golden freddy that freddy picture right there looks like he's frowning and that could be a golden freddy so there could be golden freddy back in this one and we could have to deal with marionetta which is that black thing with the white mask looking thing i'm really not sure guys this is just me looking at the trailer guys but yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next subject let me know in the comments what you guys think all right guys so the next thing we're going to talk about is the actual genders of these animatronics now we all know there are robots inside them but the actual characters that they play as in freddy fazbear's pizza do have genders and they do have names now i got this print from a brony convention that i went to and this guy even told me that chica was a girl and the rest of them were guys now that is in the first one but in the second one that could be different because one they are remodeled as new animatronics. Let me show you Bonnie real quick. On the left side, we see an old Bonnie. And, you know, they took out his stuff and they put him in a new one. And they say he's been redesigned and remodeled and stuff like that. And in the description of the game, it did say that the new animatronics were redesigned to have the latest in facial recognition, threat detection, and they're nice to, you know, all people kids and adults all friendly and stuff like that so this new bonnie could be a female actually because one it does look like a female because you have long eyelashes there she the eyes are purple like the eyelids on bonnie are purple for women they do put makeup on and that looks like eyeliner or whatever it is i really don't know i'm not a girl or i'm not gay so i don't know what that is exactly but you can see bonnie's cheeks are red and it just looks like a female i mean it could be that thought that bonnie is a girl in the second one but bonnie in the old one is a dude um let me actually show you another image now we're going to look at um this image of chica looking at you on the camera now if you look behind chica you see a poster of chica and, it, and that, that looks like you know a feminine type of body looking type thing so yeah we all know that chica is a girl now let me move on to foxy which is a little interesting because this image right here if you're looking on the left side you see old foxy if you look on the right side you see another foxy and this looks like it would be a new foxy but let me prove you wrong right there there's actually an image right here of someone actually sending scott or the person who actually created the game and pretty much this email or whatever this is is pretty much asking about foxy and scott replies how foxy will return in five nights of freddy's 2 in more ways than one now in more ways than one i really mean one more ways than one because there is an old foxy and there is a new foxy because in the trailer at the end you do see the old foxy jumping out at you and it kills you and there's this image right here of new foxy actually dangling from the ceiling but i actually have it rotated around so you can kind of see it better um this is actually new foxy and you can see how uh new foxy is torn up and arm pieces are everywhere and for some weird reason you do see foxy new foxy's head there but to the side of it you see just the robotic part of it i really don't know why this new foxy is all torn up however i do know how this new foxy got torn up we're actually going to be back at this image right here with the first thing that we see now if you zoom in closely on this image right here you see a couple kids tearing apart foxy 
and this looks really really weird now this foxy seems to be pink it's not brown it looks pink so maybe they made this new foxy and it turned out to be like maybe a bad one so they told the kids hey kids um we don't want this one anymore so let's tear this one apart yeah so i don't know why these kids would have so much fun tearing it apart because they have like these they're, they're smiling and stuff like that and i'm like okay they're tearing apart this new foxy maybe he maybe they try to make a new foxy and he turned out to be really bad like the old one or something like that i'm really not sure but there's some reason why there has to be some kind of reason why these kids are tearing up this new foxy right here so what could this actually mean? I'm really not sure why they would tear it up. I mean, I don't know the reason why. I just know I just know how this new Foxy got torn up. We're actually going to look at another image right here. And it's actually a kid pulling out this new Foxy's eye. And you can see that he actually pulls out his eyes. Or actually one eye. I'm stupid. Um, but there's a specific eye that he takes out. And he takes out his left eye. Now we're actually going to look back at this image of new Foxy dangling from the side. His left eye, from his perspective, his left eye is missing. So that's proving my point how these kids were tearing apart this new Foxy. But why would the kids tear apart the new Foxy? That's completely, entirely weird. I don't know how he got torn up. I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know why he got torn up. But I know how he got torn up but see there is another thing i've been seeing on forums on youtube videos on everything there's stuff going around about how chica the new chica is putting together new foxy you're going to look at this image right here now some people actually think that this that chica the one that you're looking at right now is the old one it's actually the new one here's 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 showing you proof if you zoom in on his cheek you see some pink right there and if you look at the top of his head or her head you see like it's kind of like split open like a banana peel i guess and if you look behind this chica it's got the same type of hairstyle plus if you really look close at this poster Chica has had some pink blush on her cheeks, and the Chica you're looking at right here in the middle of the screen has pink blush on her left cheek. So, that's proving how this is the new Chica. Now, if you look on the bottom right corner, on the very bottom right corner, you see an ear sticking out. And look, it looks very familiar to new Foxy's ear, because this ear looks like it's light gray, light gray on the edges, and it's very dark on the inside of the ear. Now, if you look right here, it's a very light gray and like a pink on the inside. So maybe this camera is showing in black and white. But why is Chica and the posters in the background in color while the ear on the bottom right corner is black and white? It's probably just the camera or maybe it's just the, just how the game looks in the camera view. But if you look to the left out of that ear, on kind of on the bottom right here, you do see an eye and you see some robotic parts. Now this could be Foxy, new Foxy's missing eye that's sticking on the left side or on the side of uh, new Foxy's head in this image right here. So I'm really not sure why this Chica is right here putting together this new Foxy. Now, it could be something else. I'm really not sure. I've been just getting a bunch of theories of people saying this new Chica is putting together the new Foxy. Now, what I don't know is is foxy going to kill you or is he going to be friendly i'm really not sure because there's theories going everywhere about how the new animatronics are trying to protect you while the old ones are trying to kill you because the new animatronics in the description of the game it does say that the new ones are updated with the latest technology and facial recognition and threat detection so they could be protecting you while the old ones are trying to kill you i'm not sure um here's just an extra image to show you guys of you having the foxy helmet on and you're looking down the hallway and you see old foxy just watching you so maybe he's scanning to see if you're a security guard or a foxy a freddy suit so maybe you just put on the suit just to hide from the old ones and maybe when the new ones come in they'd be like oh let's see if you're a human okay you're a human since we have threat technology we're not going to destroy you we're going to look for the other one so then they leave your room so that's maybe how it goes that's just me looking at the characters guys we all know freddy is obviously a dude he hasn't really changed much and uh foxy he has two um he has his old version and he has uh and there's a new foxy some people are calling it miss foxy foxy 2.0 new foxy or whatever i'm not really sure there's theories of old of new chica putting together new foxy i don't know really guys we'll just have to wait till the see we just have to wait and see till the game comes out i can't talk i'm just blabbering on at this point so let's actually look onto the next subject 
Okay guys, so the last thing I wanna talk about in this video is actually the red caution mark that we've been seeing in the trailer a couple times. Now, when I did that breakdown video, I didn't know exactly what that caution mark meant. Like, I didn't wanna assume because I wanna get out false information. But I've been looking up videos, I've been looking up forums, I've been looking up information, and I think it has to probably do with Foxy. Now, we see this caution mark come up, I think, two times in the actual trailer. Once is when you're looking at uh, the old Freddy and the actual caution mark is blinking, and the second time you see it is when Foxy jumps out at your face at the end of the trailer and the, and the caution mark is blinking. So. That, only, that caution mark comes out when Foxy jumps at you, but see, the thing is, it only comes up when Foxy comes at you. Like, when Bonnie comes in your room, you don't see a, you don't see a caution mark, so maybe that caution mark has to do with Foxy. And we all know that in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, we all know that the old Foxy was the one that was acting up. So maybe in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, maybe your little iPad has, like, maybe it's been updated and maybe it keeps an eye on Foxy because... In the actual description and of Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2 and stuff like that, the animatronics do wander around at night. And since Foxy is the only one that acts up, which is the worst one out of all of them, you know, he's the one that's craziest, maybe your iPad that you pull up to check the cameras has a little indicator specifically for Foxy. And maybe that caution mark means, okay, maybe Foxy is moving. Because Foxy only moves from Pirate Cove. And... So that's from the first one at least, but in this second one right here, he moves from camera 11, I believe, but in the trailer, we don't see him, we don't see the trailer click on camera 11. <clears throat> sorry, I burped, I'm drinking a soda. But yeah, <clears throat> sorry again, I'm still drinking a soda. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. On camera 11, in the trailer, we don't see what camera 11 is, but camera 11 could be the starting point for Foxy. It could be Pirate Cove, I'm not sure, because this is a new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza place. This doesn't take place in the 1900s, like, um, Final Fantasy Freddy's 1 took place. It takes place, like, now, I guess, in 2015, I'm not really sure, but camera 11 could be where Foxy starts. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all I have for this video right here. I try to clear up as much stuff as I possibly could from that first breakdown video because there was a lot of things I could have mentioned and there was a lot of things that I missed. So I really hope you guys like this video. I normally don't do videos like these, but just because I'm getting so many requests just to do more Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, I might as well do it. I mean, I know there's people out there doing like one minute, two minute videos about the smallest detail of Five Nights at Freddy's and I personally think that's actually stupid. I'd rather do like a whole 10 minute video going over as much as I can because people be money whoring and making like 30 second videos making like $80 on just like five views. I really don't know what the math is guys but yeah I hope you like that you guys like that video. I'm just gonna continue doing videos that I want to do. I like doing funny videos in Call of Duty so if you like to see funny videos in Call of Duty then go ahead and subscribe to me. Don't subscribe to me just because I made this awesome video or just because you like Five Nights at Freddy's and I did a video on it. No I want people who watch my videos videos because they want to so you don't have to subscribe but you can always feel free to subscribe i will be playing five nights at freddy's 2 when the game comes out so if you do subscribe you will be updated as soon as i upload a video about five nights at freddy's 2 so yeah i hope you guys like that video please give it a thumbs up share with your friends your family or anybody else who would think you think would be interested in this video and peace out what